Welcome to the 3D Print Entrepreneur Podcast hosted by Print That Thing, where we help you become a 3D print designer. I'm your host, Jay Wall, and in today's episode, we're going to be talking to Willie from CoCreate.com. They have 36,000 Instagram followers and do high-quality 3D printable scans of people, including some celebrities you might recognize. We had a great chat about his experience as an early adopter into the 3D print industry. Unlike other guests so far, his company works with 3D scanning and owning a storefront based business. He brought some great insight to the process CoCreate uses and some stellar tips for entrepreneurs out there. Before we dive into the interview, let's get a quick word from our sponsors. This episode is brought to you by Print That Thing, an educational platform that helps you become a 3D print designer within 30 days. We provide easy to digest lessons that compound so you can learn fast. Sure, you can learn 3D print design on YouTube, but we teach a unique and flexible workflow not found anywhere else. You'll learn by doing while creating 10 unique designs, giving you a strong foundation to get you 3D printing your own ideas. If you wanna unleash your superpower of 3D print design, become a member at ptt.live for designs, courses and community all right welcome back everybody today we are with one of my buddies that i'm really just meeting very first time <laughs> willie but i feel like i've known you forever how you doing i'm good man thank you for having me jason yeah thanks for coming uh coming on the show so willie is one of the i guess the the starter of co-create tell us a little bit about co-create for those who don't know what co-create is or what you guys um, do um so yeah we started around 2012 in the room like i mentioned earlier and uh Got off from there. Um, obviously, when we first started, it was about the little miniature stuff, the little 3D figurines of people and stuff. But at that time, I mean, I think we're a little advanced um, ahead of our ahead of our time, so people didn't understand what it was. And we just had to like blossom and just dip into everything else just to survive, you know, like 3D modeling, selling printers and whatsoever. And here we are just, you know, hanging in there, right? <laughs> hey, yeah, still surviving. Yeah, well, this podcast is all about entrepreneur, people in the 3D print space that are just crushing it and you know, doing this as their full-time career. So I wanted to just kind of go with you, kind of how you guys got into the 3D print space. Like, did you start off in that kind of realm or like, uh, how did you kind of get into this whole uh, 3D print world? So my background is I'm a hardware engineer um, and then I, I like fixing stuff, right? So the 3D printer aspect of fixing is the best, you know, that's what I like, right? Totally, me too. Um, and then at that time, you know, I was printing random stuff off Thingiverse. I'm not a model. I don't, I don't can't model nut for nothing at that time. Mm -hmm. but, um, and then my wife told me, why don't you just, you know, look into it and start something. Right. So we dived in and we found the figure stuff. So we figured, you know, that was like the, the family portrait, the future of family portrait. Right. So we kind of just, you know, invested our money and, uh, here we are. <laughs> Dang, the future of family portrait. That's so cool. So like whenever you were getting started, were y'all doing it with photogametry or did you like just spring forward and get one of those scan gun, like the laser type things? We started, what with, the, we started with the Arctic Eva at the time. Um, and then, so we, we basically just invested everything, our money and, and knew nothing. Right. So everything was self-taught. Like they're like, Oh, here's a scanner. You know, just scan people. You're fine. I'm like, all right, cool. You know, they gave us a good demo and they're like, all right, but it was nothing like it. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's pretty. I mean, it's, it's a journey. It's a journey, man. And then same thing with you. I see. You know, we started probably around the same time. You probably, yeah. Well, yeah. That's how I met you online and stuff. Instagram, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. I feel like that's what I was. We were talking earlier. I was like, I feel like I know him, but I'm just now like officially seeing you like face to face. So this Likewise. is great. <laughs> um, but um, so kind of tell us anyone out there like, like if they wanted to get started in. Mm -hmm like scanning people like if they didn't have any money if they were just at home like what is there anything that you would recommend people starting anyone listening um if they want to just you know just try and error you can use the xbox right the connect oh yeah 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 really affordable um you can use your phone and you have to get a photogrammetry software obviously i, I think they charge month to month base okay i'm not sure exactly how much you can that's play. okay i think we tried something uh, in a trial around i think 100 bucks for like three months four months mm -hmm. and you just take a lot of pictures of you know the object and then just it'll stitch it together um the only problem i see with 3d scanning that a lot of people don't see in the back end is a lot of repair right? on, the, so, on the modeling side yeah so a lot of like people just think you just scan and it's perfect right it's it perfect yeah yeah you know so a lot of our, our scans that you see in our social media it requires a lot of back end work to make it look good on the front end right so that's good kind to know. Of, there's the magic trick everybody <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. like a, that's a downfall you know i, I see because i mean you could buy expensive scanner and it still require you to do touch up at least you know so right yeah well so i know y'all because y'all are right in in california right or yeah. where part of y'all in california in case anyone's oh. traveling they want to stop by y'all shop 
we're in uh, Alhambra, kind of like 15 minutes from LA. 15, okay, cool. Yeah, so not too far. Cool. And y'all do, y'all have, I feel like I've seen like a storefront or something, right? Or yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. So, so what is it like people like you just kind of make appointments or is it mainly like tourists kind of coming in and then you're like, Hey, let's take a picture or like how to, um, we do require appointments because mm-hmm. it's COVID and you know, keep everything. Oh safe. yeah. 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 So we do require appointments, but we do everything here. So we do a lot of reverse engineering work too. So people come in with like their patent work and stuff and then they need a model made. So we, we make a model and, you know, it proceeds, you know, so. We don't That's amazing. Yeah, we do everything basically. A little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like we can nowadays. Like we have yeah. the internet. We can look up anything and learn totally. anything like so learn, fast yeah. now. YouTube, what right? so tell yeah. us like I know you probably got I know I've seen like celebrities and like uh Playboy bunnies and all kinds yeah. of things coming through. Like what was has been your like kind of just tell us the story of one of your favorite uh people that you you guys have scanned so far. Uh, I think my my all-time favorite is Stanley, right? Just oh, like, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, grew, growing up as a kid, you know, superheroes and Spider-Man, Iron Man, that's like a dream, right? And you get to meet the creator, man, that's, that's speechless. You know? That is amazing. So what uh, was it that? like, like trying to pitch it to Stan Lee? Like, did he already know what it was or did, was it like someone in his crew kind of said, hey, we're going to do this thing? Or was he like, oh, what is this machine? <laughs> you know? Yeah, so we kind of built a relationship with his, uh, his company, his team. Um, mm-hmm. And then from there, we, that's how we got scanned. I mean, Stan himself, um, but. The fact that he's so humble and so down to earth, and that just makes everything so awesome, you know. So he was cool with it. Yeah, he was totally cool with it. <laughs> <laughs> so kind of go through the process, or you know, as much as as much detail as you want. I don't know the intellectual property and whatnot, but like, what would be like a typical flow for you guys in a nutshell for like going from like someone walking in the door to like how long until they actually get their 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 scan or their figurine. So um, when somebody comes in, you know, they we require them not to wear no glasses, not to be reflective because mm-hmm. the scanner doesn't pick that up. Mm-hmm. Um, like if they need, gla- if they want to wear glasses on the print, we do, we go ahead and model the model after. So oh, you, nice, yeah, nice, yeah, nice. So we model the model. So you hold the pose for three to five minutes for the physical scanning, mm-hmm. uh, and then after that, all the magic happens on the back end. So we use the brush. There's, there's there's really no oh cool. So y'all are like main. It's like a lot of sculpting. Correct. Yeah. Sculpting. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. Color cleanup, color corrections. Mm. Um, from there once that's complete then we print but usually we tell people three to four weeks just in case the problem yeah. is that these printer goes down so and yeah they're not fun to fix <laughs> no no totally so you guys are having y'all are printing them in-house or do y'all outsource it all in-house so all, everything's done in-house so you can cut costs and everything like yeah, that yeah like control over quality and stuff definitely man that's so cool i love that so like i guess how have things changed over the years since you've been doing this almost almost a decade or close to yeah, it like really close, yeah, yeah. Really so close. what's kind of like any advice you would have for a young entrepreneur people who want to kind of get do a startup in 3d printing any advice for them um just do it <laughs> all right just do it don't hold back don't be scared i mean it, it's it is scary because it is diving in but just uh learn from everybody and then just reach out i mean like we, we ask people like you know our followers or anybody you guys have mm-hmm. questions just contact us and we'll be more to help you to like answer your question the best we can you know definitely we know everything but we'll help you you know whatever we know you know give you tips and stuff you know heck but, yeah well have this. y'all have you ever seen i've seen it once it was like a like a behind the scenes with like christian bale or something and they were doing they had all those cameras at once and yeah. then they pop it have yeah. y'all ever experimented with that or looked into any of that kind of thing we did. Uh, we looked into that in the very beginning, and we have tried a few over time. Um, you do need a, a big space for something like that. Um, mm-hmm. Even, I mean, the benefit is that it's quick. It's like five ah. seconds. Yeah, five, yeah. Five that's seconds. what I was thinking. Yeah. It could be cool for dogs, you know, because yeah. dogs are not going to sit still. But if you could yeah. just pop them and then be like, okay, pick your best pose. All right, we'll print exactly, it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, but then you need, you need a big, you need a big space. It takes a lot of you know spacing, and it, um, they are expensive. And the mm-hmm. fact that we have a handheld scanner, we're mobile. So we built a lot Ooh, of Oh, nice. So that helps us a lot. Yeah. So Definitely. Just, you know, perks. That's cool. So, well, where do you think the future of either scanning or just 3D print in general? Do you have like a, a hope or dream of the future of this technology? Um, I think all, the printing and the scanning is just, it's just a tool, right? So the way I see it is that you could have a lot of asset if you scan. Um, the future for us is that in the LA de- department um, side of things, we want to get into like virtual reality augmented reality with the data you know so that's where i see us going genius yeah. oh dude i'm right there i got a, this cord right here that's hanging is the htc vibe i got the oculus oh, right here nice. we're like yeah we're trying to merge it all too i think they are gonna all come they together are. totally 
Yeah. Have, have, you, have you looked into um, volume matrix videos at volume matrix? Oh, stuff? yes. See, yeah. I started as a filmmaker, so I'm nice. all about it. And then, so I, I'm always been interested in like kind of just disruptive tech yeah, in general, yeah. but I haven't dove too deep into it, but I know that there's, yeah, I mean, it's like we're doing what you guys are doing, but in video form. Is yeah, that it's crazy though, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I got so interested in that thing. I like just gotta figure out how to, how to you know, make it, use it. You know? Yeah, definitely. Oh, what if you could do like, I don't know if, if you could do like, like a motion path of some kind, yeah. you know, like an athlete or something like That'd doing cool. their golf swing or something. You got like, yeah, do, yeah, do, 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 that would be video. crazy. That'd be crazy. That would be crazy. I, I would pay. Use, I would pay for that. <laughs> I don't even use the um the latest Xbox um to make, to link it to a video and stuff like that. Their big scanner, the newer yeah, one. They, yeah, the newer ones. Yeah. The newer they, one. Okay. Like three cool. or four to make the videos. Dude, has, okay. So have you traveled any? I've I've read this thing once in some futurist book or article or something. It was saying like there's going to be scanners at airports and things where people can like just scan their bodies. Do you think that that will be kind of a normal thing for like fitting clothes or things yeah. of that nature? Yeah, I do see something like that Um, because they, they're using augmented reality in that sense, right? So you walk mm-hmm. in, you know, just instead of trying a physical dress, you know, it's just a digital dress, kind of see how you look in it. Mm-hmm. Um, I do see that in the future, it's just adapting to it and people making the hardware and the software behind it. So I think we're limited at this time, and, you know, but mm-hmm. it, it will it'll be, it'll be like that. Oh my gosh, that'll be crazy. Phone, I mean, the phone, like the iPhones, you, it's a, it has a scanner, right? So. So everyone in the future might just have a digital version of themselves. Yeah, or something. Right? <laughs> Man, that is crazy. Oh, it's a um, yeah, right. Um, so I guess, like, do you have any, you said you're not a designer. So what do you, you guys are just sending it up. You just have your team and they're just touching it up. Yeah. So over time, um, I taught myself ZBrush. Mm, so cool. Enough, enough to get my job, to get the job done. Definitely. Um, so my wife, same thing. Um, she does more of the fusion, self-taught. So everything we cool. do is self-taught. And then I have my artist here, which is, has a background. Um, and he's self-taught in the whole fusion and everything. So we have a small team of three right now. Um, mm-hmm. But we have other, you know, people, artists that we work with that we need extra hands. But That's all cool. three of us are self-taught. And whatever we need to learn, we just learn it, right? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, totally. Yeah. That's what we do, too. We're like, we're building a platform right now. We're like, we don't even know how to build a platform. We don't even hardly code. <laughs> but it's like, now you can do like drag and drop, like no code things. We're like, exactly. this is just crazy. Exactly. As long as you're willing to do it and learn it, that's how it is. Exactly. Yeah. That's the hardest part. Yeah. Well, I guess like what I'm trying to think of anything. Do you have any questions for us on yeah, our side? Yeah. What, is, what, are, what do you guys do? What, what do you tell people what you guys do? What, what is yeah, this? yeah. I think right now we're just trying to build like a army of like badass 3D print designers. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. like, that's my mission. I have it written right here. Yeah, um, yeah. So we're, we're making like a platform right now. We're focusing more on education, but we're doing, okay. we want to build a platform that can just help pro, like professional 3D print designers make money. You know, or if like someone like you guys were like, hey, I need a like a, a really good sculptor. You could be like, yeah. oh, let me go on this platform, you know, and uh, then look okay. up and be like, oh, these, oh, they're good. Yeah, like, let's hire them for the week or, you know, whatever. Sweet. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Something nice. like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Did you, you have like a whole mobile rig type of thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was printing in my truck. Yeah. Uh, we were out in the farm. I, I We bought five acres of land just in the oh, middle wow. of this forest. It was like in the middle of a thousand acres. And then we were like this little plot in yeah. the middle. And then uh, we were just going to 3D print a house. That's like one of my goals and missions. Nice. And then just have little 3D printed houses all over yeah. the, the country. But definitely going to come ha- hit you guys up when we come through California because yeah, I want to sure. just be a digital nomad or I am a digital nomad and just travel from city to city and go hang out with people. Sure, so we'll right? definitely swing by. For sure. For sure. Looking forward to it, dude. <laughs> definitely. Well, yeah. So where can people go if they want to come and get a scan or they just want to learn more about you guys or contact y'all? Um, I mean, we have social media across the board, Instagram, Facebook, and everything. Just look at um, Co-Create. That's Co-Create. And C-O- it's spelled different. Yeah, yeah. Tell, yeah. Go. That's C-O-K-R-E-E-A-T-E. Cool, cool. And I'll put a link in the description, too, with all the website and everything. But I uh, just want to say thanks for meeting with us, dude. That was so good to meet <laughs> you. I'd love to have you um, in the later episodes totally. uh, just to chat more. Also, one question before we go. Yeah, like, I know in my world, it's like... I've had people when they message me and stuff, they're like, they usually want something 3D printed, but then they're like, oh, I thought it was gonna be like 20 bucks, you know? Yeah, we, yeah, like, we get that all the time. <laughs> okay, I didn't know. So it's like, is there any advice you would have for people how to price? Because you guys have really good prices, it seems, on y'all's website. Like, is there any advice you would give for people to maybe price higher for their, their skills or any any tips on pricing? Um, 
just just know your worth, right? I mean, like if people people just come in thinking it's twenty bucks, it's not twenty bucks, right? I mean, if you have you have overhead, you know, machine costs and so mm-hmm. forth. The material is cheap, but then what about everything else, right? So right, you have all the see, artists and yeah, exactly. skills, yeah, you see it that way, right? So like we just we just tell them, hey, this is how much it is. If they don't want it, then we can't help you, right? <laughs> so, yeah, sorry. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to be a jerk or anything, but you know, right, it is what it is. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So whatever you guys are thinking about charging for your designs, maybe double, triple it, quadruple yeah. it, and exactly. go from there. <laughs> yeah. Just know your worth you know know your worth exactly i love that know your worth people (laughs) well cool thanks so much willie i appreciate you meeting with me and uh, i'll see you around on the gram and everywhere else thank you jason thank you all so much for listening with us today and again thanks to willie for hanging out with me be sure to check out cocreate.com spelled c-o-k-r-e-e-a-t-e You can also hit them up on their Instagram to check out their work and ask them questions. Be sure to check in next week. We're going to be talking to Aldo from La Maquina. They're 3D printing huge designs all over the world and got some really cool insights in the future of mass customization. We'll see you on the next episode. Remember to get yourself a Print That Thing membership over at ptt.live so you can start 3D printing your own ideas. I'm Jaywell, and as always, keep creating.